we now move on to talking about being in macroeconomic equilibrium. We're going to have short run equilibria as well as long run macro equilibria. Let's start in the long run. This is the aggregate demand aggregate supply model which shows the relationship between the price level and real GDP. Make sure you're always labeling so that way you get full credit on any sort of assignment that you have. We need to draw aggregate demand and short run aggregate supply first. I would always start with graphing those first. We have aggregate demand as downward sloping and we have short run aggregate supply upward sloping. This point where aggregate demand and short aggregate supply cross, that's always going to be a short run macroeconomic equilibrium, no matter where long run aggregate supply is. If we put long run aggregate supply right through that exact same point, long run aggregate supply, when all three of these cross, we will have the price that gives us our potential GDP. All of them are in one equilibrium point. That is the long run macroeconomic equilibrium. What we'll do is we'll explore some things that moves this out of long run equilibrium and how we adjust back.